I really like this question because it's so relevant to my personal interests. All right, you ready? My boss asked if I can play golf and I said I can but I have never played. How do I prepare? So my boss previously asked me if I'm any good at golf and as I'm in a customer facing job and thought he may be wanting me to play with clients, I implied I'm okay at golf and now he's organizing a golf game with him, the tradesman and I. I actually don't think I've ever played golf, I'm 27 female, except for mini golf which I'm terrible at. What should I do to prepare myself for this? He likes drinking so I'm hoping we'll have some drinks and maybe things will lighten up and I won't be freaking out that I don't know how to play except for what I've seen in movies. The tradesman is really good and plays almost every day. My boss said he's alright and probably thinks him and I will be on the same level. All I know from movies is you try and shoot the ball towards the goal and as you get closer you hit softer and try and get the ball in the goal in as few hits as possible. Don't land in the sand or you might be stuck for ages. Right? So, obviously this person does not seem to know much about golf. It's a hole, not a goal. Um, so, so I'm going to, I actually gave this person a really long uh, response. And, um, whatever. Uh, it's really obvious to tell when someone can't play golf. And yes, wa watching YouTube can help, but not from the golfing perspective. I'd say from the from like the general etiquette. So, so here's what I said. I said, golf is hard, much harder than it looks. If you look like you've ever, if you look, if you don't think you've ever played, then you haven't. <laughs> if you've never swung a club, it will be so painfully obvious if you've never done it before. It's just not something that you can learn that quickly, but you can try. Do you have clubs? If not, find a friend that knows about golf and get them to steer you in the direction of a cheap Walmart set so you can show up with your own. Um, find out the following right away. Is it a charity work scramble outing or just a regular outing? This one seems like it's a regular outing, but if it's scramble, you'll go and just practice hitting driver and putting exclusively. Maybe take a lesson or get a friend to teach you. That's what that's what you they need you for. Uh, just uh, you're the girl, so you're going to be hitting from a further up tee box. You just hit the ball in the fairway, and then they're probably closer than any of their shots would have been. And then putting, you're just another person putting. Um, scramble is where everybody t hits from the best shot. If they're regular outing, then um, you should probably walk back your skills even further and just say, hey, I would admit that you've never played a full round of golf before. Like, seriously, unless you play one beforehand. In fact, I would go play one beforehand if I were you with somebody, one of your friends that actually does play golf. Uh, but when you do golf, uh, whatever you do, don't slow anyone down. If you've seen that episode from New Girl where Jess goes and plays that round of golf and everybody applauds her because she's playing with the person that can get her students the computers. Uh, don't be that Jess. Don't be that person. That is the worst person you can possibly be on the golf course. Somebody that slows down golf is the worst. So here's what I do. I would pair up with your boss or whoever the best person is. Uh, be the friendliest person. Be the nicest person. Be the person that orders drinks. Be the, be the coolest person. Most enjoyable, pleasant person to be around. That means knowing etiquette, when not to talk, when to talk, uh, where to step, where not to step. Um, this is something that you can learn watching YouTube. Uh, just watch a video on basic golf etiquette. Um, and then play a kind of a scramble with them where you just kind of hit the ball from where they are. Then you pick up. Then you go to wherever the next ball is. You hit from there. Then you pick up. And that's what I would do because uh, that's going to be the way that you don't slow down the round of golf. Um, so general etiquette, uh, don't talk when somebody stands near the ball. Um, don't talk while somebody's swinging at their ball. Don't stand between anybody's ball and the hole, especially not on the green. The green is where the grass is even shorter. And just learn basic golf terminology. Terminology. If you don't know anything about golf, it will be um, painfully obvious. But yeah, just be upfront with your boss. Say that you don't know anything about golf, but you you love to join because it, it is a great opportunity for you to join. And then start learning. Start learning. Uh, good luck. But if you have enough time, maybe schedule a lesson where you can learn, uh, watch a YouTube video in advance and study up on basic golf knowledge, then take a lesson beforehand, get some clubs, play a round of golf by yourself, and then join. And then, then you'll at least be um, in a better situation than somebody that's literally never golfed before. Because that at that point, you're, you're risking kind of never getting invited back again and kind of embarrassing yourself. So... 
that that's i mean i'm not saying it's like a life and death situation but um with your career it's not but you, you could really embarrass yourself i i don't know what kind of person your boss is but uh you could really be embarrassing yourself here so be careful uh and and, and treat it with the treat it with the appropriate level of seriousness um depending on your relationship that you have with your manager so uh, Cause you lied, <laughs> you just straight up lied. And golf is just not one of those things that you can just lie about. But uh, no, knowing how to do very well. So.